If you're looking for manga to read for Pride Month, or just a really good series that you might not have heard of yet, we've got you covered. My name is Yona. I'm a librarian at Field Teen Center of the Free Library of Philadelphia, and I want to tell you about Our Dreams at Dusk. It's by the same creator of the series Shonen Note, but it's a really different vibe. Our Dreams at Dusk is a seinen series, meaning it was originally marketed for older boys and men, but those definitely aren't the only groups who can or should read this series. I think that that mostly means that it is a more serious story that looks at its themes in a more serious way. It's about a gay teenage boy who isn't out yet, even to himself, and definitely not at home or at school. He starts attending this drop-in program during the summer and after school, and the folks there volunteer to work on houses and repair them. And he slowly starts to realize that all of the other people at the drop-in center, who are mostly older than him, are also queer. And the story explores a bunch of different queer identities, including non-binary and asexual characters, trans characters, lesbian characters, and of course our protagonist, who is doing his best and really struggling anyway. But if he can be brave enough, maybe he can tell his crush how he feels about him. Or he'll just make a giant mess, you know, 50-50 toss up there. Even though this is a story about gay characters, this is not a cozy BL, but it is beautiful and really nuanced and thoughtful. It has some of the best dialogue in any manga I've ever seen. It's also worth knowing that the creator of the series, like some of the characters, is non-binary. In a lot of stories about realistic characters, you'll often get panels of just classrooms or character staring at a different character, staring at the same character again. And Our Dreams at Dusk doesn't do that. Just because it's a realistic story about realistic people doesn't mean it can't have beautiful, fantastical art. There are lots of drawings of the fish in the fishbowl at the drop-in center that give this story a really ethereal, dreamy quality, despite the serious, realistic subject matter. This is also a great series for folks who want to read more manga, but are intimidated by the long-running series like One Piece or Naruto, because Our Dreams at Dusk is only four volumes. In fact, it might leave you wanting more, because it's never boring, it's beautiful, and it'll probably break your heart. If you're looking for more book recommendations or just want to share your thoughts, get in touch with us because we'd love to hear from you. You can always follow us on social media or you can email us. And of course, you can always visit us in person. We're located on the ground floor of Parkway Central Library at 1901 Vine Street. For the latest information about our hours and any special events or programs, check our website. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you find something great to read.